everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to calibrate the eyepiece reticule using stage micrometer. What you see here on the right side are two different versions of stage micrometer and what you're looking at here is an eyepiece reticule, the plastic one and a glass one which is engraved into the eyepiece lens. And that's the plastic eyepiece reticule that we insert into the eyepiece lens. plastic eyepiece critical is inserted into the eyepiece lens right. but there is a better version this eyepiece lens manufactured with eyepiece critical already engraved in it so you don't have to put any plastic this is not this is much better And here is a stage micrometer. A stage micrometer is a very accurately etched glass or plastic ruler uh, that is placed on the microscope stage so that the eyepiece reticle scale is superimposed on the stage micrometer scale so that we can calibrate, we can measure uh, the actual distance that can be measured with one division of eyepiece reticle. So this is the, the plastic version. We just cut the plastic and scotch tape onto the slide. And here is another version, a classic one, quite different than the one that Cambridge sends. Put the stage micrometer on stage, turn on the microscope. And now you need to superimpose the stage micrometer with the eyepiece reticle. The larger one that you see is a stage micrometer. You can move it up and down, right and left. And the smaller scale is the eyepiece reticle, so you can rotate it. And as I move, so my intention is to overlap any two. For instance, I overlap 0 with 5, okay, if I overlap zero, small 0 with big 5, you can see that the small 2 overlaps with 5.5 .5 as well. Now you can make a comparison. The black scale you see here is a stage micrometer and the blue one refers to the eyepiece critical. Well, if you need to first superimpose these two. You need to clash them or overlap them both. So the stage micrometer, you can move the stage micrometer up and down, right or left. But you can rotate the eyepiece critical by simply rotating the eyepiece lens. So you can move it either way. So once you superimpose them, you need to check out for two lines overlap. Once you superimpose the stage micrometer with the eyepiece critical, check out for two clashing, two overlapping lines. So I overlap the zero of the eyepiece critical here. And now look for the second overlapping line. So here it doesn't overlap, here no overlapping. Here, no overlapping no and it exactly overlaps between two now the rest is making simple ratio now count the number of divisions in this overlapping region in the stage micrometer and in the eyepiece reticule remember between 5 and 6 so in here between number 5 and 6 is not a unit a unit or a division is any distance between two lines so this is 1 2 3 4 5 so I can say that 5 divisions or units of 
stage micrometer equals to how many units? So it's between 0 to 2 in the eyepiece reticulum. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20. So 5 divisions of stage micrometer equals to 20 divisions of eyepiece reticulum. But pay attention, you have to calibrate your eyepiece reticulum at each uh, different magnification. Let's assume that you're using 4 times objective lens. So the total magnification will be 40 times. Well, it will be more convenient if I show the eyepiece critical before the stage micrometer. So 20 divisions of eyepiece critical equals to 5 divisions of stage micrometer. I need to find out one division, one division of eyepiece critical equals to how many divisions of stage micrometer well in this case it would be 5 over 20 divisions of stage micrometer which in fact makes 1 over 4 so at 40 times total magnification one division of IP critical equals to 1 over 4 divisions of stage micrometer. What's the significance of this? Well, I can't really measure the actual distance that can be measured by one division of IP critical, but I can calculate it for stage micrometer. Remember, the stage micrometer is the one that I put on the stage. I can actually measure the real length of the stage micrometer by using a simple ruler. Using a simple ruler, I measured it as one centimeter, the whole length. In another word, it's 10 millimeter. So the real length of the stage micrometer is 10 millimeter. And how many divisions are there in the stage micrometer? 100 divisions. So 100 divisions of stage micrometer equals to 10 millimeter millimeter is not a preferred unit to work at microscopic level so let me convert it to uh, micrometer remember to use millimeter to micrometer conversion so from millimeter to micrometer times a thousand from micro to millimeter it's divided by a thousand so this will make actually 10 thousand micrometer so one division of stage micrometer equals to 100 micrometer this is the number that I need and this is a value that is not going to change uh, according to magnification I need to figure out at each magnification how many divisions of stage micrometers are there in one division of eyepiece critical? Because I know the real value for this one. So I can figure this out. So at 40 times total magnification, since one division of eyepiece critical equals to 1 over 4 divisions of stage micrometer, and since I know that one division of stage micrometer equals 100 micrometer, at 40 times total magnification, one division of IP critical will measure 25 micrometers. So, in other words, at 40 times total magnification, the actual distance that you measure with one division of eyepiece critical equals to 25 micrometers. This is called as calibration.